step into the world of high finance, where power players and money managers hold the reins of the global economy. Welcome to this special presentation by Cloud News, where we are going to be looking into the US stock market and inflation 2023 prediction by some of the well-known names on Wall Street. These titans of Wall Street are the CEOs of globally systematically important banks to hedge fund managers such as Bill Ackman, Casey Wood and Neil Berger. While inflation genie is out of the bottle across the globe and central bankers are trying their level best to put it back into the bottle, we now look at how some of the biggest and the smartest individuals on Wall Street are looking at the global macroeconomic picture for the rest of the year. While inflation has slowly subsided in different parts of the world, including the United States and off late in the UK, where the CPI print came in better than expected, we look at how hedge fund managers are placing their bets. We look at how inflation is expected to play out in the next six months. And are we really at the peak of the interest rate cycle? Are interest rates going to flatten out here? Or do we still have some more gas left by central bankers, which they are going to put on the battle to increase the interest rates in the near future? Enjoy this exclusive video where we are bringing you the insights and foresights of some of the brightest minds in the financial universe. Let's dive in. One of the things to think about with capital markets businesses is that when you have a big reset, and certainly in 2022, we had a big reset, it takes, you know, six quarters or so for people to really come to terms with the fact that this is the new reality. Right. We're not going back to the old reality. Right. And then the capital markets activity picks up. I, I certainly don't think the capital raising and IPOs and M&A are going away. Right. I just think when you reset valuations and prices, it takes a little bit of time for people to adjust. And therefore, you know, I, I, I think that's we're, we're just at kind of five quarters now. I think we're getting there. That was the CEO of Goldman Sachs, one of the elite investment banking firms on Wall Street. However, on the contrary, the CEO of JP Morgan, Jamie Dimon, does not really feel the same. While he thinks that consumer has a strong balance sheet and they are spending in the economy while inflation is slowly reducing, he warns central bankers and the overall money management community to be cautious about the overall picture. Let's see what he has got to say about 2023 prediction for the U.S. stock market. The current now economy is still doing okay. Consumers are spending money. They have still have a lot more money. Their confidence is dropping. Uh, their balance sheet is in good shape. Uh, home equity is in good shape. Jobs are plentiful. That's pretty good. That's the now. It's being eroded by confidence, by inflation, and the excess savings is coming down. But I think a far more concern, when I talk about potential storm clouds, they're still there. QT and the effect of interest rates, inflation may not come down like people think. Rates may have to go a little bit higher. Uh, but really, in particular, the war in Ukraine and what it's doing to oil markets, gas markets, food markets, poorer nations around the world, and the effect it's having on trade and economic relations between America and its allies, between America and China. And those are really complex subjects. And of course, we all hope they're going to go away nicely and fade away and we have a soft landing. That's possible. But I, I still, you know, I'm quite cautious about this. This is different than circumstances we've had since World War II. It's far bigger, it's far more important, it's far more explosive. And so I just, I just think people should take a deep breath in this one before they declare victory because a month's number look good. Having heard from the leaders of two of the biggest corporate and consumer banking behemoths on Wall Street, let us now actually move to what the hedge fund managers on Wall Street are saying. We will be hearing from the portfolio manager of Eagle View Capital Management, who thinks we are in a beer market or are close to entering a beer market. And he says how we can navigate this beer market. I'm not in the prediction business. Um, I'm not in the being right business. I'm in the money making business. So um, I try not to think about those sort of things. The market uh, is going down. And, and if things change, uh, I'm going to change. But right now, um, I think the big story is uh, central bank liquidity flows um, becoming a, a headwind against asset prices, whereas they were a tailwind for the past dozen years. So I can't predict where the world is going. I don't know where inflation is going. I don't know. You don't know. Jay Powell doesn't even know. Um, so I think it's a futile exercise to even try to predict that. Um, and I'm just trying to make money. And that's what, I, that's what I'm tasked with on behalf of investors. Coming up, we're going to be listening to the prediction for 2023 by CEO and founder of ARK Invest, Katie Wood. 
She is by far known for her investments in disruptive and emerging technologies and her obsession with Tesla. Her view on the global macroeconomic picture is rather a favorable one where she thinks that the U.S. economy is in a great shape and will continue to do well for a long time to come. Now, where are we? The market is starting to look to the other side of the interest rate increase. And they're starting to look at inflation, which is crumbling. Inflation is crumbling. I know that uh, uh, a lot of people use the word sticky, but you look at the leading and core. That you look at the leading indicators of inflation, they are coming down rapidly. And we do believe we're going to see deflation, uh, which we're already seeing it at many places, but even right. in the broader based indices, and the Fed will have to adjust and we'll be on the other side of the horror show we just went, in, went through.